Why, hello there, recipients of the Bestower, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld, the first Wendigo, episode 143, Counting. And then we'll have to decide um, how to do Krieg. Krieg is going to be uh, allowed to move around and all that. And then Krabs is going to be a Cryptoer. So Krabs, we already know, I just have to roll out a Crypto Sleeper uh, for you. And then once we're done with all of that, I'll, I'll pick the new eggs to, to gestate. The other thing that we'll need is the nuclear stomachs. I don't have two nuclear stomachs. You have one though, so. I'll let you keep it, for now. Even let you keep your organs. Do nuclear stomachs explode upon death? They do not. That'd be crazy though. Hello, you are waiting for... No, you're just regular old sleeping. I was wondering if Fangface was doing the surgery or not. It would be pretty epic if the... Um... Or, or alternatively, if there was something kind of like a death acidifier, but it was for um, just exploding on death, that'd be really cool. That way, if you wanted to make like kamikaze troops, you could. There's actually a scenario modifier for the game which incorporates Explode on Death. So it already exists in game. It wouldn't be too hard to code. Oh, wow. Your throne is already done. And it's a nicer throne than Wendy's. <laughs> Yikes. I think these old thrones are just going to break down. So there's nothing stopping the count ceremony. Cool. I'm probably going to want to wait for Wendy to attend the count ceremony, however. And Wendy, although you're anesthetized, you're going to do the operation anyway. Hubris, right? Just a little bit of hubris. Good luck, Lo. I might botch this. What is my surgery success chance? 90? Oh, okay. Not likely to botch. Hey, congratulations, it worked. You have not died. So I'm surprised that this room, I guess this room meets all the requirements for count. It's got the drape, the dresser, the end table, it's a royal bed, it's got the right size and impressiveness. Makes my life a little easier, I think. And that Xenogerm is for Tati. Order implantation. Tati. 
Uh, this one is going to be combining a crypto sleep or a crypto batter. So the crypto batters, I'm going to adjust as well, uh, adding maybe Psydol. Uh, I'm going to take out unattractive, put in. Do they have dark vision? They don't have dark. Uh, no, they do have dark vision. That's it. Oh, I'll I'll make them fire resistant. But maybe pyrophobic. That'd be really funny for them to be uh, put in the crypto sleep caskets and then be pyrophobic. Awful mining, poor construction, uh, awful animals. Good. So here's the new crypto batters. Save and combine. Rise it. You ready? We're gonna we're gonna do it. Fingers crossed that I get good um, side casts as a result. I would not mind having like an, another Neuroquake. Wendy has Neuroquake, but I would never really consider uh, using Neuroquake on Wendy because it knocks her unconscious for a while. But if Bryzit has it, then it's a good backup. And Kath will be in attendance. What are you doing to Chimic? Oh, carcinoma. Isn't Bryzit level 6 for Neuroformer? Uh, no, level 5, I believe. Yep. He's skipping two royal ranks. He went from Praetor, skipped Baron, and went straight to Count. Because of the donated gold and prisoners. And the um, crash landing... I don't, um, I mean, I accept this, but, oh, here they come. I was going to say, I don't really see that they're arriving. <laughs> Imagine being snubbed at your own count ceremony. It's like the highest rank that you can attain, and the, the bestower is just like, eh, I don't feel like it. He's a jerk. Let's not, let's be a no-show. <laughs> There's actually a lot of people that will be no-shows. All right, the uh, geothermal's up and running because um, Chimic, low, they're both unconscious. Tati is still recovering from the implantation. Val is in the hospital. Frosty is down with the flu. So there's a, a lot of non-attendance already. That's fine. 14, yeah, whatever, 96% is close enough. I like how Wendy's not even getting off her throne. She's like, ah, whatever. He's might be the same rank, but still an underling in my heart. Which, you know, even Prize it knows is true. He's saying you're gonna need a new took. I need to get T saying to prioritize Taylor over Smith catch back up on the clothing that we need. Jesus, Basilia, just be done with the stupid ritual. Look at all the lazy people not working right now. Come on. It was grandiose, so a lot of extra honor. Three extra honor, which is nice. Permit point awarded. And... Neuroquake! Got Neuroquake. Fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted. Out of all the sixes. So, I have a oh crap button now.
Uh, the next thing I wanted to do is the conversion ritual for the soon to be possibly vampire, or Trigo or whatever his name is. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to go well, but I'll try. Did he get one for five or it was skipped? It was skipped uh, because he already knew a level five. If you know, if you know a, a, a psych cast at the level that you level up to, you don't get a freebie. Which is why you should never learn beyond your level because you, you skip out on the freebies. All right, Contrigo, you better convert. Does Neuroquake... Neuroquake hits everything. Neuroquake isn't about... Um, actually, it might not hit Psychic Death, but it hits... It, it has no bearing on uh, Bionics. Unless you have a... Death Bionic. Come on, dude. All right, thirty-two percent left. Hopefully, that will go quick. But it was effective, which is better than I thought it would be. Permit choice: unused permits two. Let's go with Aerodrin Salvo. Getting free nukies is fun. In fact, he might. I might just salvo this for fun. Because I don't really care about the unstable power cells. Uh, I have a lot of power now. We have a pretty huge power grid. I've got 19 solar. Uh, 12 wind. And 5 geothermal. No, 6 geothermal generators. Like, I probably don't need to nickel and dime the unstable power cells. So, is there a spare toque? At some point, I might need to make like a dedicated shelf for uh, for backup gear. The game's telling me that the toque's out here somewhere. Oh, is it this? Yeah, there it is. Because I'm just trying to get rid of the tattered apparel. Bang faces already doing vowels. Oh, you guys are on the wrong food. No wonder you're pissed. Oh, that's too bad. That meal's just gonna waste. Ooh. Masterwork thrombo button down. That's Wendy's. <laughs> Going from good to masterwork. Sounds about right. Okay. Most of the alerts are now cleared, which is good. That is a terrible place for rice. Holy crap. That is awful. Don't put it there. Current priority is um, convert and vamp the slave. Convert Fertilize and vamp the slave. Uh, after I do that, what do you want my big priority to be? Because I can kind of work on multiple things too. So if you want me to continue to go to the Ancient Dangers for the chance of high mates and hussars, you can vote two. If you want me to capture additional prisoners, 
um, perhaps wasters or pigskin, you can vote one. If you want a construction project of some sort, three, you know, it's up to you. They all, to some degree or another, push up the goal. Look at all the little prisoners. Behaving. Love it. I think Wendy's everyday carry should probably be a shock lance, given uh, capture people's kind of her thing. A defoliator ship, that's cute. Oh, it's so far away it's never gonna affect me. Whoa, it came down with what? A centurion and an apocryton, two apocrytons. Spicy defoliator and three centurions and 11 blasters? Yeesh! That is, uh... Okay. You really, 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 really do not want that defoliator to break. I see that now. Just begging for an anti-grain? It really is, isn't it? Just instant nuke. The thing is, like... I don't know. Oh, there's also a war queen in there? There's three war queens in there. Whoa. Are you? Wait, let, me, let me take a look at this. Numbers, enemies. Centurions, war queens, tesserons, semi blasters, apocritons. Holy, holy moly. So this alone has five mech bosses. <laughs> oh, man. Talk about spicy. I love it. All those mechs, and it's not going to do a thing to Wendy. The other thing that you could do here, if you timed it right, is to hit him with uh, EMP shells and then just completely rip them up with like brawlers and side casts. That'd be another thing to do. Or call in allies and have them help absorb some of the... Because uh... if you if you um, EMP'd them and then went after the Apocritons, you could like double stun, you know, get the EMP. Uh, actually, the Apocriton stun might have if you use a regular mp first the mechs might adapt to the apocriton stun i'm not sure about that food for thought i'll deal with that eventually So it looks like we have the Locust Armor for the new recruits. In fact, Val is already decked in new armor. Uh, just without the implant. Two hours left on that. So I'll assemble it with Wendy then. And you're going to be given a rifle. And then Tati, you're also going to be given a, a, a firearm of some sort. Shooting of two and shooting of zero. Well, you're not implanted yet, so that might change. Who needs to tarry when you can just paint your walkways with blood? <laughs> Murata, thank you for the gift. It's up. All right, so killing mech bosses and pillaging ancient dangers. Given that there's five mech bosses here, I'm just going to assume that the ancient dangers are going to be the priority. So after I finish the the setting up the vampire slave, I will continue with the ancient dangers. 
I think I probably want to deal with the mech cluster first because the um, the mortar is eventually going to turn on. So with that mech cluster, my plan is once uh, once prize is ready, I'm just going to like Aerodrone Salvo and then take out the rest. Easy enough. Guero, because you're genetically pretty interesting, I'm going to have you fertilize the baseliner eggs to try to uh, have you have like a child that could pass down your genes to If a manhunter comes, I'll let the manhunter fight that. Absolutely. Oops. Got some warg spoiled. It's not good. I'm also low on human meat. This is Val's perfect. Welcome back, Guero. Hey, uh, before you uh, eat anything, just uh, share your genes. How long for hostile scan? It was recently scanned, so another eight days. Uh, not terrible, but not great. The other one is just a baseliner. <laughs> okay. Can you quit puking and start eating? Please and thank you. So Val has been implanted, so this is the Val. What is your shooting skill at? One? Okay, so we're, we're talking probably uh, chain shotguns. The good news is the learning rate of these two are going to be a little bit better. Because, uh... Oh, well, not Frosty, but Val... You know, we're starting to do quick study into the genome. So, they'll learn stupid tasks faster. Uh, Val is going to require a nuke stomach, though, which is already queued up. Perfect. And then, Tati, do you already have your nuke stomach? You do. So, I think t Sang needs to go back to smithing priorities to start making more nuclear stomachs. Rise it, you ready? Yeah, you're ready. Current priority is clear cluster. And prep the male slave. While I clear the cluster, everybody's going to be required to be indoors. Except for the one drop in the uh, salvo. And I'll probably just use the uranium slugs to, to clear this out pretty easily. My rice is looking very strong, so I also should pick some new eggs to fertilize. I'm just gonna wait. Um, I'm gonna wait until the slave fertilizes the newest batch of eggs, because that will increase my chances for something good. All right, salvo time. Skip to safety. Slugs on. There ain't much. There ain't much left. There's an Inferno turret and a few sennies, but pretty much this thing just got t just annihilated. Oh, it did happen. To, uh, to wake up the defoliator, though. <laughs> Spicy time! Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Now we're talking. Hey, Wendy. Let's call on some allies. I wouldn't mind having some cannon fodder. Because not only that, but it adds to my meat. And I like meat. I can call a tribe for military? No, I can't. Okay. I was like, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. 
All right, so military aid coming in from Inalore and Glitter World Empire. Uh, to the north and to the... S where are you? Oh, to my solar fields? Yay. Somehow or another, this was a valid stockpile uh, mistake, clearly. So the defoliator uh, mechs are just hanging out there. Um, the centurions are really annoying. Otherwise, I'd try to like anti-grain them. I could try to just traditionally shell them, I suppose. But I think what might be best is just like some well-placed berserks from Wendy um, being invisible and going and just doing that. Oh, the, uh, no, no, the Apocritons are committing. I think because there's dead down here, the Apocritons are committing to the fight, which would be incredible to be able to snipe them out. Yeah, the Apocritons are, are absolutely committing to this fight, and they're going to die as a result, which is great. So my... Military aid is going to help slow them down. I actually don't even need my brawlers. I was sending my brawlers out here to slow down so that the mechs stood in front of the slugs longer, but the cannon fodder isn't doing it for me. Yep. So in, in an effect, um, this defoliator cluster is now two groups. You've got the war queens up top and the apocritons uh, in my slug area. Well, not that one. That one's leaping. But this one is definitely going to die. I don't see it getting out of here. Being downwind and all. Hope my slugs don't kill any of the royals, but I've got gifts to donate if it happens. Turning them off for now. Yep, here's the Apocriton. It's likely to die. The other Apocriton only has two res charges left. Little concerned about the fire right next to the Apocriton. Because uh, I don't want the chips to get destroyed for no reason. And I'm going to um, save some of the military aid. For selfish reasons. Hmm, it survived somehow. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, that's not cool. You. Piss off. Oh, uh, well, I guess I can't rescue you because I just, you're up now. Is there someone else? That's a terrible place for that pistol. <laughs> Stop trying to shoot me. All right, it's dead. So there is Cone. Maybe I'll try to help Cone. I'm just trying to do this for like the free rep. I don't really care about their lives, but it saves me money. So it's economical. Uh, the problem with trying to save you is you are going to be shot at by the Inferno turret, so I might want to take out the Inferno turret first. Which is actually, I think, relatively easy to do due to the blind spot of this Inferno turret. Because I could just leap in from the northeast and it doesn't even see me. 
So just jump straight into the blind spot. There we go. Hey, Super Rascal. Thanks for the gifted sub. Burn sure it's gone. And I'll rescue Cone. If Petronia fell, I would not be upset by that. So if you want to just collapse, that's fine. So the uh, the mech cluster's gone. That was super unbelievably easy. And now I'm left with the uh, these folks up here. So there's a few different ways to take them out. Um, Well-timed EMPs with uh, anti-grain is tempting, but the problem with that is I might end up destroying the chips of the Apocriton. The other alternative is to use the Neuroquake, but I don't think that's necessary. I think the best way, the most effective way, would be to use um, Lances and Psycasts. If I really want to be economic about it, I would use Psycasts only, but I have so many Lances, I might as well just burn them, in my opinion. So I'm going to burn some Lances on it, because um, it's faster than waiting for the Psycasts, because of heat buildup and all that. But I'm a little tempted to go, like, super psychasty on it. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Yeah, I think I will. I'm gonna, like, go apex psychaster on the re remaining. And show them what's all about. Just because it would be fun. So did uh, the other... No, you're still up. Yeah, you're gonna make it out. There's nothing stopping you. Oh, Jesus. Where are those corpses coming from? Are they rotting from here? Ah, oh, they're not rotting from here. Uh, this is not frozen. What happened? Oh, it got roofed. That's a goof. That explains like a lot. This has just been like a corpse rot freezer. Well, fixed now. People might want to avoid this area. Just like a little bit. Um, I'm going to have Mass uh, quickly remove them from the area. So, yeah, I think I'm going to try like Apex Psycaster on the remainder of the group just for fun. That's all clear them out. Ooh, Master Cataphract Helmet. That's fancy. So for Wendy to be like a maxed out Psycaster, she's going to be um, Altex Skullcap, Altex Vest, Altex Row. Oh, nope, she's fleeing fire. That's my fault. I did kind of set the base on fire. Um, wearing all of the max Altex stuff just to mess with them um, to the point where like they can't do anything but die. And also use the glitter wand with a shield belt so that there's no chance of her just getting dinked. A oh, fun way to flex on them, I think. So what am I missing? I'll tax shirt. There it is. Glitter wand. Who's got a good shield belt? Strangely, I don't have any like masterwork shield belts. So let's uh I'll just take from Frosty. Frosty's hospital bound. Just um at the end of this fight, if I forget, remind me that it's Frosty's belt.
And then I'll have her pray for a little bit to get Psy Focus Max. But the amount of heat that she has available to her is, like, absurd. I also probably want to dye this clothing um, to look appropriate. I don't care about the shoe belt because it's temporary. What are the downsides of Words of Inspiration? Uh, it uses a ton of focus. And there's no telling what kind of inspiration you'll get, so you might get a pointless inspiration. But there's not that much of a downside, as long as you have the focus for it. Other than the hydroponics, is there anything for the defoliator to defoliate? Um, the Pollux trees? But the defoliator is way too far away to affect that. The defoliator is not even going to hit the hydroponics because it's in the corner. Because it, it only goes to a maximum of 100. And 100 would be uh, about the top of the uranium slugs, I think. Right? Like 80 squared plus 70 squared. Right, it's it's not going to work. So it's no threat. It's just Wendy wants to mess with them. Think of it that way. Oops, sorry, mess. Man, she looks weird. In like kind of a good way. Well, very weird. Why does it say shield? Oh, because she's not using the glitter wand. Shell, you are going to be enslaved. And I'll have to remember to imprison you once you're out. You're not allowed to walk the earth. Yeah, she is very much a vamp mage. You got that right. Just waiting for the side focus to top out. And then I'll get all sorts of aggressive. I really wish that there'd not be warnings about that. The whole surgery on member. I like don't care. So I believe War Queens cannot be Berserked, nor can Apocriton. No, actually, War Queens might be able to be Berserked, but I know you can't skip them. Um, the real threat here is... What is my sensitivity? Uh, 400%, just about. So when I cast Invisibility on myself, it's gonna I'm going to be invisible for so long. Four times longer than normal because of the sensitivity. So I'm invisible, I don't, I don't, don't really know, it rounds, but for a while, which allows me to just waltz kind of up to them. To hit berserk pulses that would otherwise be very difficult to hit. Let's see, uh, berserk queen. Yeah, I can berserk queens. So I'm gonna berserk the queens just to waste the uh, to waste the um, the urchins, and then while the shields are breaking, I could try to lob some shots at them for fun to make sure that I'm not using any anything but high explosive shells. Force target up here. Don't hold fire. Force target up here. Wendy's visible, but uh, I'm just going to leap away. Wait. And hopefully I'll break all the Centurion shields. But even if I don't, it's not a big deal. 
I'm going to tell them the whole fire and we'll do a volley. So there are going to be some urchins running at me. I think uh, they're not going to get to me in time, though, because of how long the maze is to get into my base. Go, maximum chaos. So just, I don't know, the shields are coming back pretty quick. All right, let's not even worry about that, Ben. Unless the shields come down. The other thing I could do to, to make sure the shields come down is to uh, berserk the Centurion specifically. The thing is, I think the Apocritons will never really res in then, unless they use up the res charges. Which, uh, they're pretty close to using up all the charges. Alright, my heat is pretty high up there. I am just going to take the chance to lob volleys, even if the shields are up. See what I hit. I hit what I hit. Nice! Right, because they're not high shields, they're, they're low shields. That got some hits. Took some out. There's basically no charges left on the Apocriton, and then the centipedes and all that are like pretty well damaged. There's not a lot of stuff that isn't pretty destroyed up there. There will be some urchins uh, bothering Wendy, but I think I can probably go fly under the radar here and have them leave me alone. So far, none of them have been targeting me. So go for another volley and just keep tormenting them with Wendy. Waiting for her heat to dissipate. Oh, here comes the volley. Fantastic. No misses. The reason I'm not using EMP shells is like, you only get to EMP them once and then they adapt. So I'm trying to save up for like, good timing EMPs. Krieg has been kicked out. So Krieg, you are also gonna be um, a member and I might make you a doctor. So, I know this is a little confusing because I'm doing two things at once, but Oh, you know what? You have strong melee damage. Maybe I'll make you a uh, a battle a battle dude. Yeah, I'll make you a battle battlekin. You already have dark vision. Doll. It's a minus eight. That's what I'm working on. Uh, nearsighted is fine. Minus six. Awful animals, minus five. Because that overrides poor animals. So already I could cook you up this way. Is there more I could do? Poor plants doesn't help. Awful shooting doesn't help. Poor social. There we go. To give you... Um, God, you have everything I already want. Maybe I can ditch sight sun sensitive if I work hard enough. No, there's no more awfuls here. Uh, could give you strong stomach. Or get rid of cold tolerant in lieu of fire resistant. That works. You'll look like an ampid and you'll be fire resistant. Works for me. So here's the Krieg. And you should be rescued so that you don't 
freezing there, and there's no place to put you. Yeah, you'll have one of the nicer bedrooms for now. So I had Wendy use two Berserks, knowing that I'm going to put her on um, rest after this. Just because she needs more Psy Focus and blood. But uh, a pretty sizable amount of damage. Grenadiers can stop. Pretty sizable amount of damage, given that I haven't really committed to any one-use objects. It's just been her screwing with them. And one of the War Queens is down. So I'm glad that I stopped shelling, because uh, that would have been a problem. I don't believe that the Apocritons are allowed to res War Queens. So if you're wondering about the edge case of like, oh, could you just kill the War Queen and then like have the Apocriton res the War Queen for more power focus chips? I believe the answer is no. Now, is my arithmetic correct? Will they make it to me in time? They're at a two-hour cooldown, and they're out here. I don't think they will be able to get to me, but if they do, they'll die pretty shortly thereafter. One of the wonders of having... Oh, no, there's three-hour here, age. So this one will make it to me. Um... I'm going to turn the turrets on, but tell them to hold fire. And I'll just let the urchins fire on the turrets, but the turrets are tough enough that they're just not going to get destroyed very quickly. That way the urchins leave me alone, essentially. Then I won't have to worry about it. That's probably the easiest. Unless I want to smash them for fun. I can also forbid everyone from even entering the um, this area. Mitty, you want to smash for fun? No, oh, I. L yeah, there's some doors that I hadn't closed off. Man, this is quite the origin swarm. But you can see how they just, like, can't kill anything quickly, right? These turrets are just absorbing. No problem. It's, like, not entirely unreasonable melee training for many. Because there's essentially zero threat that they get through the, uh... I mean, the Militaur is a different matter. Are they legit attacking me now? Why are there Militaurs down here? Fine. You know what? I don't like getting shot at. Taste your own meds. And any of the turrets that are... Oh, Kish used to stay out of there. Well, you know, whatever. Any of the turrets that are getting low on HP, I can just power down and they stop firing on them. That way I don't lose any turrets. This is a hilarious fight. Nope, they finally broke mini. Oh, let's get out of there.
I need them to um, prioritize target. Oh, no, 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 no. Prioritize targeting. Um, the turrets over the melees so that the melees can be continue continue to smush with with you know without getting being shot at <laughs> I wonder how much melee uh, XP I'm actually getting out of this it's probably not insignificant because the whole time I'm technically fighting just against an enemy that can't do very much. Tickles at best. Yep, yeah, we got another battle room down here. <laughs> this is so funny. Are there more coming? No. When he's meditating, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Cactus is like, oh, I didn't mean to open that door. It's all right, dude. It's not dangerous. All the little, little battle bugs are dead. Kind of fun. And Vendetta's laying on their corpses. Asserting dominance. Love it. Thank you for tuning in to The First Wendigo, which originally streamed live on Twitch April 9th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to get the live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Wendigo.